say, you know, things, things have changed somewhat. Yeah, I couldn't figure out how to get the Amiga version to load past that bit, at least not without switching to a completely different version, a copy of the game and playing it all the way back from the start that. Well, given how much I bitched about the graphics and stuff there, I figured I might as well take the chance to switch over to the Mega Turrican version on the Sega Mega Drive. As you can see, this is much more pleasant and colorful. And I'm just before the boss here, and almost dead, so... So one difference I noticed about this boss fight in the way is... Well, at least as far as I remember, that good thing at the end of the tail wasn't on screen, the Amiga version. And I can tell you right now. Whoa. Oh, if you touch that hoof, you are going to pay the nasty amount of damage. Also, the some reason oh, that was bad. For some reason, the homing missiles all latch onto the top left corner of the screen. Oh. This actually seems somewhat more ch challenging than the... Ah, Amiga version. I don't remember having as much trouble jumping over that spray, uh, spread of glowing red wood. Oh, shucks. to use, occasionally use the either or the boss to shoot downwards or make use of the way the tail goes up and down. So while searching for stuff about the ambulation, to help with the ambulation that is, I also discovered a couple of things such as that Fine, <clears throat> there's a secret, uh, out of a golden armor, which, well, as the name suggests, suggests it gives you a very distant here with golden shield, and also makes it so that you do not uh, level or power down your weapons while you are fight uh, when you die. And, <coughs> well, so I was playing back here, camera, I, I'm, I figured I might as well get a good chance to take, take my time and dig around, dig through the place, and uh, as many secrets and extra stuff as I could. And now we are in a factory or something. What? Sometimes those bolt screw things just push you around, other times they actually hurt you. And we have these conveyor belts, which I would say blend in with the regular for a bit too much. Also, also, I discovered that someone had found the source code for Tarikan 3 and Amiga. It seems like anyone has really done anything with it so far, but it means it would be possible to make a new version of that which, for instance, has these more vibrant graphics from this version. There's something up there, but I imagine there's something up there, namely this. Is there 
this. So, uh, hmm. Actually, make it there. Whoa. Oi! Six minutes? Those small guys should. is not so bad. Overall, as far as well as bosses go, I think this is quite nice. <coughs> ah. Yeah, sides. And there you got it. Layer belt, which does not help fit things any. Oh, 
Oh, he. Ah. the big thing. Some hopefully this is better. But well, we are close to the end of the game anyway. Oops, spoilers. I hope there is some health to be gained around here. Mm -hmm. And also, I 
time and the danger for another time. Mm -mm. Just ignore that kind of And I kind of hope the game would. The screen would center on Turrican a bit more so I don't get blindsided by stuff from beyond the edge. Yes, and now you can blow blue up. Mm -hmm. Hey, looks reasonably clear. What? Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, I kind of wonder, maybe I should leave that box. Be since I'm up. Oh, to. What? Mm -hmm. I think I'll just let the time run out for now. Oh! Ah, exactly not quite. Not I didn't want. Not I didn't want to do. You go blow up at least. And. There goes the time. This weapon doesn't well, at least seem to have much in the way of visible power down. Uh. Mm. Ah. Mm. Also, centering the screen on Torican now would help not having to pop. Scout ahead. Things to latch on quite so much. Just that and that box is actually still here. Rain. And I shall stick with the multiple again. Whoa! Okay, my mistake. Shoot the cannons from an animal. Also, it appears that my volleyball energy is not rebuilt from in reference to any uh, movie franchise. So you can see that shadowy, shadowy third hand in the background, it's going to swipe at me. Oh. Like so. Don't really know why it tried to do that there when I... Oh, please, what a mistake. And back to peace shooting. Just uh, 50 
dance here and hey it is the big boss himself all that his giant head for some reason Reasonably easy to avoid them, which I am proving by doing a terrible job at that, and my rollable energy still doesn't recharge. Okay, oh, that was better. Oh, I'm tired. Not Well, 25 lives. I certainly should be able to tank this. And now it's a less cartoon form. Ooh. Those all Castlevania Dracula and teleport around shooting. Up. Oh. I think I'm going to... I, I have more lives than you do. And for some reason, sometimes instead of teleporting, he just... ...glides to the other position. <coughs> Don't really know what's up with that. How could be that he only moves... I'm a teleport if I manage to shoot him, but if I don't, then he flies. Huh. Hypothesis confirmed, looks like. That's quite a lot. Well, but we are at the end. As the machine and its planet blew to pieces, Ren had brought peace and freedom to the galaxy. Freeing himself from the Turrican suit, he moved towards the girl he rescued. Remember, that one we saw once in the intro. Silently Bren and beautiful Juko, yes, she has a name now, watched the sunset on Earth and finally forgot about the terrors they had experienced. Why did they go all the way to Earth? I thought this was in the far reaches of space. But the struggle between good and evil did not end. Soon the brave fighters could be forced to confront new dangers beyond their imagination. The adventure is just beginning. Really, didn't they have any uh, friendly, nice looking planets close, or close by? How long did it get for, take for them to get to Earth anyway? <coughs> but yes, that was Turrican 3 or Mega Turrican, depending on the system. As I mentioned earlier, there are I think, two Super Turrican games for the Super Nintendo. No plans for doing those, though. Yes, sir. Uh, was a Turrican for... Was it... Was it, was it the Nintendo Entertainment System or Commodore 64? I forget which... Apparently has a completely new... 
this well designs and stuff and this I hear it's very good I might give that a try but in the meantime well see look at all these German names Rudolf Stember Julian Eggebrecht Manfred Trends Created using Pegasus Mega Drive. Ah, program blah blah blah. blah. Things copyright by Fact 5 Productions. So for some reason I get copyright claims from Chris Hulsbeck specifically. Mm. Oh, got to Bitmap Brothers, Blue Byte. Draft Gold, Lucasfilm Games, this is quite a list of good uh, Amiga developers. Renegade, Thalion, so some did good stuff for, already for the Commodore 64. And the Chiluru Empire? Cologne, Germany. If it's in Germany. Why does it have such a French name? Huh? Huh? Answer me! And the end, and... Hmm... This seems to be one of those game endings where you are stuck there and... No matter what you do, what you press, you... It won't send you back to the main menu or title screen or high scoreboard or anything. Yeah, that's me pressing the buttons, A, B, C, and here start, nothing is happening.